Good morning. It is day 86 of heroin. Um, I am on my way to work. And I thought about everybody in the world that watches YouTube videos and maybe bumps into this video. Um, you know, it's almost like a whole nother life. Like, like I'm in like a whole reincarnated or if you will, born again. Uh, I, I am awake from a deep slumber. Um, you know, it, it's interesting because all the religions of the world have some type of... Uh, uh, um, they all describe this kind of concept. You know, in Buddhism it might be you, you're awakened or uh, you're, you're reaching a, a new level uh, of spirituality. Whereas in the Bible it might say being born again. Or um, The point is, is uh, I, I'm really really thankful and I'm keeping a humble attitude about it this time because I had two years clean a while a while back and uh, the two years I thought I could graduate the 12 steps of uh, Narcotics Anonymous Alcoholics Anonymous whatever anonymous group you're in 12 steps I thought when I got to step 12 that uh, I graduated from steps 1 through 11 but the fact is is uh, I had, to, I had to live these principles, learn how to live them daily for the rest of my life because I have a disease and this disease is going to be with me for the rest of my life. I have what would take place a physical allergy if I put it in me, a phenomenon of craving will take place, and a mental obsession. I, I won't be able to control the mental obsession, of course, or the phenomenon of craving. That's why I continue to do what I did. But there's three relationships for me. And this is what I've learned. So, like, when people are watching my videos, they think I'm trying to school or lesson somebody. No, I'm so encouraged by what has happened to me and what I'm thankful for that I'm just wanting to share it. I just kind of want to tell people what happened to me and, like, what works for me and why today I don't use heroin anymore after 86 days I've been off of it and I don't need it and I don't want it and I don't need any substitutes that's just me okay um, I gotta get that point across and for those who are atheist I'm not here to offend you I'm not ashamed of my faith either and I don't have a specific religion either nor denomination or anything I believe in a higher power um, I definitely know this power exists that's the difference um, and, and, and it works if you work it. But uh, if you if you ask and cry out for help, of course you're going to get the help. Of course things will start to change for you. If you put your feet down on the ground and start taking certain steps, be willing to go to any length, of course you're going to get it. Whether you're an atheist or not, these things will start to develop because these principles are spiritual principles. They will come true. So I thought I'd just say this. I was reading an article... And uh, there's this group on Facebook that has uh, plenty of people just like me. I'll leave it unnamed because it's private uh, or it's a closed group. But there was an article written by a man. And I can't believe I don't remember the name of the book he wrote. But uh, he pretty much talks about the war on drugs and how it's been done wrong for a long time, which I agree. And then he also goes into a little bit of detail on uh, him traveling 30,000 miles for three years uh, to, to find out this drug thing, man. He wants to get to the bottom of it and understand what is wrong with drugs. Why do people do drugs? And he started talking about the experiment that we did in the 80s, I believe it was, as America, where we put uh, a little mouse in, in, uh, in a cage or a rat, mouse, whatever in a cage and we fed it two different forms of water. One water had cocaine or heroin in it. The other one had just water. Well, the rat by itself in the cage ended up keep going to the same. After it tried both waters, it kept going back to the one with drugs. And it would do that until it pretty much committed suicide by itself. I mean, it, it didn't intentionally do suicide, but anyone who's an addict understands you're killing yourself and, and it's a slow suicide. But you don't, you don't really, it's almost like you're unaware of it, in a sense, if that makes any sense. It's, it's almost like you're unaware of it, or that you're not really careful, or you're not conscious, or that you don't care. You just need your drug, okay? Well, 
they did another experiment where they took plenty of because they said maybe he got depressed maybe he was alone maybe maybe a different environment would change that so they put the, these mice or these rats in what they called um, rat park okay and they got all the best toys and foods and and all the coolest little things and gadgets that you can have in a rat park and they put the waters in there and of course they don't know what's what so they try both they find out which ones are the drugs and which ones aren't and uh, some of the rats would uh, never touch the cocaine water again just to use cocaine for example because they do heroin and cocaine they test both but uh, they never touch the cocaine again and uh, some of them will go back to the cocaine and they live secluded and they and they, they space off from everybody else well long story short about this whole article is it deals with connections with people it deals with your connections and relationships to people well he, he went through all that to try and find out which I'm glad he did because this research can be useful and utilized to try and prove a point and uh, and here's what it boiled down to me the 12 steps right they build three relationships or three groups of relationships okay number one they try to build your relationship or the, the steps are intended to build a relationship with a higher power number two they're there to build a relationship with yourself so your higher power now you need a good relationship with yourself and last but not least a relationship with others you do this through steps one you know you, you, you surrender two came to believe three was willing to, you know turn your will and life over to God four now you're doing inventory now you're writing inventory about what self and you do this up till you get to let's just say step seven eight nine okay uh, I would say eight and nine where you go and now you got to make amends to other people now you're trying to fix relationship with other people and if you practice that daily the point I'm making in this video that if I practice steps 1 through 12 my relationship with my higher power myself and others then I'll never be that rat if you will that keeps returning back to the drug to try and Feel some void that I have, some problem I need to fix. And the, the reason they say we essentially use drugs or drink is because we like the effects produced by them. They make us feel better. They make us feel great. At least we think they do. Um, after a while, they stop working the same way. But I just wanted to make this video, let everyone know. Today I'm working the steps. And uh, it's... It's such a better life. I have a great job now. I was working washing cars in this freezing cold weather. I was praying and asking my higher power saying, is this all you have for me? Like, really? This is it? I'm going to wash cars at this Jesus car wash right here in the hood too where everyone's buying dope and crack and heroin. I mean, you name it. They got it all over here. And I was just like, man. And I was washing these vehicles for this for this construction company. And I was going, man, is this all you have for me? Uh, I hope this isn't it. I just kind of was bummed out. Sure enough, I'm working for the company I was washing their vehicles for. And uh, my God works in mysterious ways, you know. But uh, I love everyone, and I hope everyone uh, enjoys the video. Sorry I made it long. I'm just driving to work, man. I got to gotta check in every so often. Let you guys know how life is. And, and uh, that I have not relapsed, that I have not needed to take a drug. I've had some depressing moments without a job, and, and there were some moments where I was just, once again, not practicing those principles or praying and things that I should have been doing, which made me feel a little fear, which kind of got me in the high gear to continue to do the right next right thing, which be talk to a sponsor, go to a meeting, man, pray to my higher power, do something, talk to someone, once again connect with someone so uh anyway have a good day and uh sun will be coming up in the next couple hours so <laughs> god bless y'all